All right, where are we going, Emily? Lego store! Woo! 2023! Woo! You wanna get like a blooming onion after this? Okay. Hey, pretty people, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily, and Ross already ran inside to the Lego store. We're a little late. It is January 1st, so Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2023. It's basically our tradition at this point on January 1st every year to go to the Lego store, which is where we are right now, to buy new Lego sets. There's so much that comes out every January 1st, so I'm really excited. And really, I think the main goal today is to spend $190 to get that Blacktron gift with purchase. Now, honestly, I don't really know much about Blacktron. I was not into Lego when Blacktron was a around and I don't even know when Blacktron was around but I think that gift with purchase looks incredible and for 190 I think that's really worth it so wish us luck Ross already ran in because he was kind of ow I hit my head he was kind of stressed about getting all the Star Wars sets that are on his list there's only like three coming out today so it's really not that crazy it sounds like Dingle Bell so now let's go see how crazy the line is oh gosh the line's kind of long I'm glad Ross ran in already I found Ross it doesn't look like there's a lot of the 501st packs on the shelf so hopefully it has some in the back all right, so it's about 11. We have another hour before the Lego store opens. The line is already pretty long, which is kind of crazy. There hasn't been a long line at the Lego store in quite a while. I'm scouting out what's going on inside the Lego store. And if you look way to the back there, you can see the TIE Bomber and the 501st Battle Packs. I think there's only like four. I don't see too many back there. But then they're just stocked up on modulars and the new art sets. I think that's the art right there. The line is seriously so crazy right now. I see Ross over there. But on display, check it out, y'all. So Hogwarts Express, this has been here forever. The table football, otherwise known as foosball, is still there. But then the new modular is on display up here. The glare is terrible, but I really do like this modular, or at least I like the jazz club side. The little yellow building is the pizza shop, and I don't really care as much for it. It kind of looks like a Friends build, and I love Friends, but I don't really want Friends kind of aesthetic in my modular buildings. And I don't know if you guys were aware of this, VIP early access for the 1st through 3rd of January. I don't think they normally do that. Like normally it's just available for everyone starting on the first. So I'm not sure why they mixed it up this year. But then something I'm very excited about today is the Blacktron Cruiser, the free gift with purchases over $190. It says a blast from the past. And again, like I didn't grow up with Blacktron. I'm not really too familiar with the theme, but I just think that the build looks neat. But then just kind of scouting it out again, you can see on this little stand here, this is where they have like the store exclusives, the smaller sets. But I see that heart wreath. I feel like I heard about that and then didn't hear about it since. And it's been like two months since hearing about it. But I really want that. There's also all of the Lord of the Rings brick heads. I need to grab some of those for Ross. I feel like he'll really like them. Oh, and then just because it's there and amazing, there's the Eiffel Tower. And so we still have about 30 minutes until the Lego store opens. It's 1140, but check out this line. It's like halfway to that side of the mall, which I haven't seen in forever. Okay, Ross, how are you feeling? I want meatballs. It's 2023 and I want to start the year right by eating right. Around the holidays and leading up to it, I eat so much takeout. It's awful and way too expensive always ordering out. Which is why I am so happy to tell you all about HelloFresh today. I've been using HelloFresh for years now because of how easy it is. I have a busy schedule like I know many of you do as well, and HelloFresh allows you to skip those grocery store trips and take control of your time and budget with yummy recipes delivered right to your door. You can whip up a restaurant quality meal right at home. I have saved so much money learning how to prepare some of my favorite meals here instead of eating out. The recipes are so easy to follow, and cooking my HelloFresh meals with Ross is a great way for us to connect after a long day. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of meals. With over 35 weekly recipes, they always have something yummy that can also help you reach your dietary goals. I seriously cannot recommend HelloFresh enough. It's made my meals so much easier and healthier. So go to HelloFresh.com and use Emmasaurus21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Now back to the video. All right, back to the Lego store release day line. This is honestly stressing me out a little bit because there's so many people. Like I really don't think that we're gonna be able to get any of the Star Wars sets. That's honestly not that big of a deal though because they're available at like Target, Walmart, I believe Amazon as well. So if we don't get them here, it's really okay. But then we would have to find something else to get us to that 190 threshold for that Blacktron set. And I don't know what else we would get. Something about our Lego store is they don't sell Monkey Kid in store. And I love those sets. They're really detailed, really fun, but they just don't sell them at our Lego store for some reason. But those would be perfect to get us to that 190 threshold. Kind of unfortunate that we can't buy them here. So we reached that time. We're about 10 minutes out from the store opening and I'm seeing a lot of people like just get here and it's it's that sad like reality of everybody just kind of like looking realizing how long the line is everybody like us realizing man we uh 
should have got here a little bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Feel bad. I hope everyone gets what they want. Okay, I'm gonna go say hi to some of my friends now. I found Josh from Josh Build Stuff. Hello. So what are you here for today? Speed Champions. Is there anything else on your list? Avatar 2 Submarines. Make sure to subscribe to Josh, he's funny. Almost as funny as me. So something really random is that I love Bluey. I think it's a really relaxing, fun, cute TV show. And I've been trying to find a Bluey plush all over town, like multiple stores and they're all sold out because of Christmas. But apparently Macy's has plushies. And so after this, we're gonna head there and hopefully buy a Bluey plush. What do we want? New Lego. When do we want it? New Lego. Okay, it's 11.56, four more minutes. Four more minutes and then we're gonna get up in that Lego store and we're gonna tear it up, man. We're gonna get all those Owl First Battle Packs. If I don't get it, I'm gonna cry. Now you have to do a tear. All right, we're heading into the Lego store. So excited. Okay, so I think this is cute. I'm gonna grab this, this, these, and this one here. So many people here, I am overwhelmed. Ross made a beeline directly over to the Lego Star Wars stuff, and I think he has something. It's really crowded, so it's kind of hard to tell. In other news, I had no idea this set even existed. I think it's kind of cute. I don't need it, but look at that blimp. More new Disney stuff, Moana. Also, all of the new friend stuff is on the shelves. This is like the most hectic Lego store release day ever. But anyways, um, keychains. I really want to get a keychain. I have like a key fob, and it just doesn't have anything on it. So I really want to get one. But I don't know which one I want. Here we go. One of these would be perfect. I love Eeyore. This would be cute. Tigger would be cute. I feel like Eeyore is kind of bulky, so like in my purse, it might be a little too big. Big Bird's rubber, so I think it'll get dirty. I'm thinking Tigger. Oh, and here's the gift with purchase, the Blacktron Cruiser built, the free gift with purchases over 190, so we're trying to get there today. But here it is built. This is pretty neat. It looks a lot smaller than I thought it would, but honestly, it's a free gift. I'm down. It looks really cool. Okay, so here's our little pile so far. Wow, so this is so hectic. Lord of the Rings is already gone. They still have a few of the Tusken Raider brickheads. Actually, I don't even know if they've been touched. They have a lot of them here. And there it is built. I just, I'm not feeling it. I don't really need this in my collection, but it is cool seeing them making more Star Wars brickheads. But then here's a TIE Bomber build. I am really excited for this build. It looks like a lot of fun. Hopefully there's like multiple instructions so I can build it with Ross today. We like building together. The 501st Battle Packs and the TIE Bombers are gone. And someone bought an ATAT -AT today. I hope they put dots on it. I don't think I'll ever be super into Ninjago or anything like that, but like check out that white snake. That is wild. Ninjago gets the craziest minifigs. Oh, that one looks like Lady Bird. I don't I don't really have any intention as of now to get the new avatar sets but like I just think it's neat that these little purple carrots are underwater creature things. I just think that's really cool part usage. The daffodils are currently being restocked so I grabbed one of these and I'm pretty sure the new modular was here somewhere but I think it already sold out. <laughs> Here's Ross oh, in this giant pile. It's stressful getting the tie bomber. I'm so stressed. Got it. <laughs> Ross is just hanging out in line. There's like 50 people in line. It is ridiculous but here's the new Mario sets. These are the kind of thing like I do want to get them eventually because I do like the character like and we have all of them so far I don't want to stop now but I'm just gonna wait for a sale because I feel like I could drop $500 on the new Mario stuff and it's just not worth that to me plus the characters are in boxes and that makes me so sad so I might just buy these secondhand or find a new box because fun fact in these boxes like when it's like a full sealed like box of them each side is unique so if you just grab one side you'll get the whole pack Oh wait, this is what I'm talking about. Like, if you buy this whole side here, I think you'll get all of them. It's already been touched, so like, I don't know if that's the case. And I usually don't care too much about LEGO City sets, but check this out, the new otter. I love it, that is super cute. And it comes with two of them and a little fishy. And also while I'm here, I wanna get some pick-a-brick. I saw these pieces earlier, and this is what we're using for the LEGO City. I'm basically covering like the whole green area with these, and I've been running out very quickly. We already have like five or six cups, but I think I'm gonna get another one, because I will definitely go through them. Pabbers. I'm trying to do math to figure out if we like qualify for the gift with purchase yet. So apparently we're at 180 so far with everything. So I'm gonna go get another pop cup. Okay, I have my two cups. It looks like candy, it makes me so happy. Okay, I also grabbed an Eeyore because I really wanted it. So now I have Tigger and I have Eeyore. Okay, so we're in line to check out and there's like two people ahead of us. We've been in line for like 20 minutes. It is packed and there's probably 50 people in our line behind us and then there's a second line with another 50 people behind them. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Kind of like looking around and seeing things. I see all the Mario sets. They look kind of cool, but I'm in no hurry to get them. Um, but yeah, a lot of the hot items are gone. That Star Wars did not stand a chance. The modular, I thought it might might make it, but apparently they only got like 15. So yeah, it didn't stand a chance either. People were running towards Star Wars, so that was really overwhelming. And the modulars. Okay, so we just left the Lego store and there's still a line outside. Like there's still like 
10 people there but then there's also like 100 people inside the store so it's just wild like this whole day i did not expect that many people also here's ross we made it and the legos first we'll do a car haul in a second but first we're trying to find that bluey plush what check what? it out toys r us oh my toys r us i miss it do you see bluey now back in my day toys r us was a big store it wasn't just in a macy's like it is now yeah i don't see bluey either 15 percent off Woo. oh it's a sloth ross is just chilling with joffrey is that his name he's taller than you are i know right what's up with that you look so small next to him it's almost like he's a giraffe Ross just found Bluey. Oh, Ross, that's the wrong blue dog again. Mm. I found Bluey. Okay, we actually found Bluey this time. Bluey! All the Bluey friends are gone. <laughs> Sad. Mom, can we have Bluey? We have Bluey at home. Bluey we have at home. <laughs> so this is kind of exciting. The Macy's spits us out like on the other side of the mall, but it's like very close to where our car is. This is a whole new adventure today. I've never come out this way after Lego shopping. Wow. New year, new me. See, look, that's the entrance we came in. This is magical. Pumped up. I'm so excited for the keychain. You have no idea. I felt so sad with my little like key fob. I needed something on it. We're lost in the parking lot. I don't know where I parked. You have the keys. I need an adult. Okay. Okay, we found it. We are in the car. Oh man, so that was incredibly hectic. Oh my goodness. So there was many a people. lot of people there. I mean, I guess we should have known for it being a release day. There wasn't like anything major other than the modulars coming out. That was like a D to C. So I thought everybody would, you know, maybe just wait to go to Walmart or Target or something like that. Yeah. But there was an incredibly long line. There must have been like three to 400 people in line. It was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, the Lego store people, I think they were like ready, but they were also, you could just see the fear in their eyes. On top of all of that, they had like only 15 of the modular sets. So those just went off like hotcakes. That was fast, yeah. Uh, the Lego Star Wars sets did not stand a chance. They had only one restock of it. So what they had on the shelves, which is usually around eight-ish of each set, gone. And then they put one restock and that's when I was able to get my bomber. But yeah, totally gone, totally wiped out. The Quinjet was gone. I noticed that one went by. And I was really surprised that the Lord of the Rings brickheads were like selling. Like that. People were excited. About. Yeah, so uh, Lego, if you're watching this, we want more Lord of the Rings. Come on. Yay! Make it happen. I haven't seen it yet. All right, Emily, what time is it? Car haul! Car haul! Car haul! Car haul! Car haul! Car haul! I need Woo. to turn on the air conditioner. It's too hot. First set. Daffodils. Next set. First Lord of the Rings set in like almost 10 years. So we got uh, Arduin and Aragon. Excited about this one. I think he is super handsome. All right. And then the next one we got Golem and Frodo. Emily thinks he's super handsome. <laughs> All right. So rounding it off, we got Gandalf, the Grey, and the Balrog. So what's interesting about the Balrog is there's a lot of debate on whether or not a Balrog actually has wings or not. Do you think the Balrog has wings? I don't know what a Balrog is. Balrog is a Maiar. So from the far east over there and was a follower of Morgoth and eventually Sauron. Gollum looks like a little naked man. Yes. So this is the one, this one's really exciting. This is the one I obviously feel bad about because a lot of people wanted it and it was really hard to get. Um, you know, this is why we came as early as we did. And even then there was no guarantee. By the time we were there, there was only... <laughs> two of these left on the shelf but when i grabbed this one and there was like a line of people grabbing it so i just reached my long arms in and got one um yeah hard to get super excited to get this one i'm gonna go home and build this one as soon as we get home okay so this one here it's a little heart ornament and i just thought it looked really pretty i thought it'd be kind of cute for like a wall decoration somewhere it says ornament but like i'm just gonna put it on a wall but something cool about it is you can customize it so this one here is like half pink half green and i think that's really neat was worried it wasn't in the bag for a second. And we got the creme de la creme, the Ooh. 501st Specialist Battle Pack. I am super excited about this one. I'm I, happy it's 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm excited to see the Battle Pack at $20 <laughs> instead of the $30, the last one. Would be nice to have them back at $10 though, right? That'd be cool. Um, super excited about this. Also probably gonna build, if I wasn't driving, I'd be building this one in the car. <laughs> we got two of these pick a brick cups. These are just some nice green plates. And then as for some of the gift with purchases, I love that Lego's been doing this, just kind of giving you parts packs and stuff. So this is the, I think this is the, the like uh, New Year's, Chinese New Year's. Oh, cool. Um, give a purchase, so pretty exciting. And then of course, the big one, Blacktron. Blacktron's old school. I mean, Blacktron's been around long before I've been around, I think. So um, pretty cool to see these. There's a, a local like Blacktron lug around town that's just really into Blacktron. So they're very excited about this too. 
Um, but I love, I love the retro looking stuff like you see on That's the Lions cool. Nights and all that stuff. The little mechanic, super cool, really exciting. I love the box. Yeah. Last two things we got are things Emily's really excited about, Eeyore <laughs> and Tigger. Um, I don't know why she picked these two of all of them, but uh, they're kind of cute, huh? I like them. <laughs> all right, so we're heading home now and we're just probably gonna build a lot of this today. I am really excited for it. And again, Ross is like stoked for all of his new Star Wars stuff. Star Wars. Star Wars. So thanks everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing down below. I really appreciate it. Staying new to your pets. <laughs> Bye.